thank you for joining the stardom fan podcast i'm mark i'm juno and this week the biggest week of the year in wrestling no it's not wrestlemania season it's cinderella season unfortunately we're not going to get to watch it for i don't know a month (laughs) (laughs) oh dude i could go on and on about how i hate a lot of things that stardom does now like they cut out the pre-match promos yeah the biggest complaint lately is never about the wrestling but like the the shows see uh, when they're uploaded so we went a week if not longer without any shows and then all of a sudden boom especially uh, uh, everything gets released you know a week's worth of shows get released and that's also running into two pay-per-views at you know at the same time so it's like now what do we watch it will it's it's an issue that if if this if this becomes a thing like you know they 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 would go a show where it's like oh we're behind we didn't do the pre-match stuff like oh that was fine until Mm -hmm. randomly one day they decided you know let's just cut them completely so it's fine this one time where hey we're a week behind and then we'll just up backload and upload all these shows in one day that becomes a thing like I can see that easily becoming a thing where they'll go two weeks without uploading, and then oh, here's eight shows for you guys. That's not cool. Yeah, it's, uh, something's got a. I mean, it had to just be some sort of glitch in the matrix or something. It could also be one guy running the entire internet down there, over there, and biting off more than they can chew as they're running regular pay per views and trying to run a social media and trying to run a website which is supposed to give us the content and a news you site. don't have time to go on vacation during cinderella season <laughs> no it's it's gotta be you can it's gotta be the only company that one person's running everything even stardom fan is run by at least two people <laughs> Jacob Rainbow Warrior is a good point too. They were, they cut out the Corkin entrances. Yep, I remember that. Well, Corkin, they usually sometimes they do that, but I feel like it's more we got to get in and out. So I don't know if the entrances were even that good. Maybe here's. I mean, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, but I do notice a lot of Corkin shows. They're just like in and out. Like there's another show right after you. Here's why the time argument doesn't make sense to me, though. All right, so guy in charge of all the uploads goes on vacation so instead of like if i don't I, know sorry i don't know what 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 he was doing but you know what when it's cinderella season and you can go like two weeks without uploading a show it's a vacation i think it'd be better if um they did the exact opposite and the lazy thing just like give us your raw footage just the That's entire show yes <laughs> So, remember when they remember when they would just do that and they would just literally post the entire show? It was so good because you got to like the feel of the when you're just watching like oh match 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 match. It's like you can't get into the feel of it. But when you like you get a break, like when they're clearing out the ring and stuff, it's like oh, it's like being at a real show. So that's what doesn't make sense to me. So a guy running out of time or overworked or whatever the reason might be causes more work by editing it out editing out the stuff that people want to watch yeah that's i love one of my favorite moments was i think it was saya kamatani when they would clean down the ring between matches like they would just get a standing ovation if they did it fast (laughs) enough like one time lady c does it and she just like collapses afterwards and the crowd's going nuts oh she was the grand champion it was actually popular enough where if you go on their YouTube, sometimes for either for like their variety show or I don't know what the reason was, they would do competitions. Like they would do it in like teams. Like uh, you would clean half the ring and tag in your partner and they'd clean the other half. And like it was like timed. Like those are those are fun little YouTube videos. So it's definitely a thing. Yeah, those were good. You know what? It's funny because, well, they used to have. And not even like that long ago, because I haven't been watching that long. But they would have the match breakdowns, and then if you ha- have the option at the very end to just like play the entire show if you wanted to do that. 
which was also cool because it usually saved your place if you did have to leave. Yeah. New Japan does an opposite thing. They just play it how it lies. They just yeah. The the whole show's up live. And then after a day or two when someone gets to it, then they cut up the matches, which is funny. So you can still watch the whole show or you can skip from match to match if there's just something you want to watch. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. It's like, A, it's the lazy thing. So if you're in a time constraint, just upload everything. And then, you know what? If you get around, well, that just proves how much better the New Japan streaming service is. Like, they actually take the time, some quality of life, where it's like, you know what? I want to just search up a Jeff Cobb match. What's he been doing recently? It's like, oh, here he wrestled this guy. He was in this tag match. Like, that's what a real streaming service does. Yeah, Stardom Search functions pretty good though too we've had some fun with that it sort of if it decides that that match had that wrestler in it <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of times when you're like well, let me find this specific match and then it's just not there but it's like oh it's not on the website I'm like no it's there you just can't search for it that is funny i remember falling into that trap uh looking up some old matches where um because it would search by not by wrestler per se but by the title so if you're looking to look, um, find a certain Tam Nakano match, which is what I was trying to do, if it's called a cosmic, if the team was called Cosmic Angels, then it wouldn't like if you search, it wouldn't show up in a uh, Tam Nakano search. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes it'll just be like God's Eye versus DDM. You can yeah. just search out. Yeah, <laughs> that is messed up. <laughs> So, well, you know what? It's funny. This could transition right into it. If, um, might have some light spoiler talk, but we don't have to talk winners or losers. Um, but it's funny because, um, what I was searching for when I was trying to fall down a Tam rabbit hole is I remember a botch that has to be scrubbed from the internet. Where, remember the spot where, uh, Unagi, it's when they were the champions, um, when Unagi and Mina would like try to catapult, um, Tam Nagano into her little flying move, right? Onto the floor from, from the ring and um like the apron. That is uh, a good yeah, that's a that's a very apt description because you know what do you fling out of catapults? <laughs> Rocks. And Tam Nakano. Tam Nakano's. The um And we'll get to New Blood. That is a spot too. It's like yeah. she does not she does not know how to fly. She <laughs> falls. Yeah, so the first the first um it, it was so long ago. well i had to be 2021 20, and i can't find it anywhere so the first one of the first times they tried to do that spot they tried to do it from inside the ring and they couldn't catapult her enough over the top rope and she like <laughs> fucking ass over the tea kettle like fucking head on the apron everyone's looking to see if she's all right <laughs> and then after the match and it was it should have been so easy to find and i couldn't can't find it anywhere i've i've searched for this more than a few times and she uh at the end she takes the mic i'm assuming she had to have closed on the show because she actually like as as far as it's translated was like something about that botch or something like that she's like i even botched and i still won or something goofy (laughs) (laughs) it's like oh my god which leads to tam almost killing herself on a similar type of move in new blood (laughs) oh yeah who was she tagging with uh waka oh waka of course but oh like, yeah, it was the it was the main event. We don't. I, did, do you think it's still it was, fresh and it's not uploaded on Stardom World? And I actually don't think it will be. Do you want us not say winners and losers for now of the show? Whatever. I just want to talk about the spot where yeah, her and Waka both get on like the top rope, like on opposite corners, and they're both gonna just dive to the outside. Waka has no problem with it. Tam, I think she climbed up the wrong side of the. She doesn't do top rope stuff. So instead of, like, climbing back down, and, like, and she was probably too scared to just, like, you know, shift her body around, she decides to just, oh, shit, and try to tightrope walk on the top rope. It was brutal, because she, like, she steps off, she steps, takes one foot, steps onto the top rope, realizes, oh, no, I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> and then she somehow manages to get, like, one or two more steps on the rope as she's falling. And that was the greatest top rope spot I've ever seen in my life. Because Tam Nakano comes up, her face is blown up, so she must have like slammed face first into something. So you Probably know she... that had to hurt her opponent. Oh my goodness! Well, <laughs> it was unfucking believable because she's going up, and then she starts wobbling, and then she takes a foot 
towards the middle, like she's going to do an El Phantasmo tightrope. And we're just like instantly like, what are you doing? Like so out loud. Like, what are you doing? Why, Waka damn, no, just, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Waka just jumped. <laughs> Uh, this has to be a Tam Nakano complex where she's like, well, I can't do the same thing Waka's doing. My had to be a little flashier. I'm I sure think I can she... tightrope. Who can't? <laughs> well, I want to think she she climbed up on the wrong side. Like, you know, if you get out, out on the wrong side of the ring. So you, you want to have... think she wanted to tight walk to the other to the other side instead? <laughs> no, not the other post. Oh. Like she got out. She's like she got out onto the apron from like the right as opposed to the left. Oh, like facing the direction she yeah, was gonna so, go. Yeah. So, and then instead of, and then she must have been like, "Oh crap! Well, I could try to like sh- like twist my body and jump, but I'd rather just tightrope walk." Because in her head, she probably thinks she could do everything. That I agree with. But also, there's got now thinking back, and it might be worth. I mean, I might be completely wrong, but at least the way I'm picturing it, that move. Her doing her Tam fall from grace um, move <laughs> it has to be muscle memory. The way I picture it, it's off the same turnbuckle going in the same direction every time. Is it not? <laughs> like, why would she have got confused? <laughs> I, just, I just, I have to have a theory. I, I just don't believe that she would climb to the top rope and go, yeah, let me tightrope walk. <laughs> I think she wanted to. <laughs> That or I'd rather believe she got on the wrong ape or wrong ring post. I think More she wa- I think she wanted to make it halfway look all fancy like somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Started would... wobbling a half a step in and bailed. She almost bailed backwards. She almost killed. I mean, she literally almost killed she, herself. Her, she did. She smashed her face on something. Came up all <laughs> bloody and puffy. Out of all the high spots that I mean, it was such an awesome hot best that if you were to look at stardom's official like screen caps which includes Kyrie, just she does like the aj styles thing where you just look so cool like in midair like how often do you have to practice like looking cool while falling but they don't show the tam nakano fall from grace so <laughs> <laughs> another another uh tam nakano's piece scrubbed from the internet her you know- weight her age and her falling <laughs> you could not find it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know when you do like a top rope like crossbody or whatever, mm-hmm. like you're parallel to the ground, so like your head is at the same level as your feet as you're falling, and like you're doing a, a belly flop. Pam Nakano, I think might yeah, she must just for some reason she keeps jumping off of really high things, but I don't think she likes it because. She does the thing where, you know, when you're jumping into a pool, like, most people could just dive. But if people are afraid to dive, they do that weird thing off the diving board where they're, like, kind of feet first, kind of face first. And they ended up just, like, killing themselves and probably Lady C beneath them. (laughs) Well, now it's worth paying attention to who's always uh, grabbing her and, like, how many people there are. I'd love to go back and be like, Waka had one girl, and the other eight seconds were on the other side waiting for Tam to fall. <laughs> I just said Lady C, because I assume she's the one. Half of her Twitter is just her posting uh, scrapes and bumps and bruises, so I assume <laughs> most of them's from catching Tam. I'm gonna say that, yeah, that's probably, yeah. <laughs> that's probably what that's from. Uh, so, that was a recap of a, a recap of a spot in the new blood. <laughs> uh, Waka and Tam versus Kyrie and Nene. Damn, Kyrie is so freaking cool, huh? <laughs> Until she came out on a tricycle, but it was uh, she came out on what I thought was a dirt bike, and you're like, no, Dude. I could I could see the pedals. Dude, it was <laughs> it, had, it had like a Harley headlight on it and stuff. I'm like, this yeah, is yeah. I'm like, awful. that's pretty. I'm that's pretty dope, and I'm waiting for her to like, you know, do the kickstart, and you're like, oh, there's just pedals. <laughs> they're going around. They're they're hopping. They hop on it together. Her and the day to to roll down the. I'm like, oh, this is no Undertaker Harley, that's for sure. But you know, whatever. <laughs> I th- I don't even know if the day was sitting on the back or if she was just pushing them. And she was on the pegs. <laughs> <laughs> Kyrie looked cool. All right, it's like she she had the the leather mommy like biker gear all set up, so she was gonna come out on some form of bike. 
she's such a good wrestler. Like just watching her matches. Like when I um going back um she couldn't save Wrestle Kingdom, but she made the pay per view between uh her and the artist formerly known as Sasha Banks uh like a match worth watching as long as you didn't want to watch the end. Because I mean, Kyrie's just I mean, when you only get to see her once every four months if you're lucky, like really good. Mm-hmm. She almost got a better match out of Miyu than the wrestling god Shuri. Oh my god! Right? Can we can we segue? Yeah, um, I've been dying to talk about this. Yeah, I don't want to do a whole show recap, but well, you know what? We 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 started off talking about uh, Stardom World. So, do you think it's a different person that runs Stardom World than runs the um, news site? Because the news site usually has match results like instantly. So, if you wanted to spoil everything, you go on the news site to the point where okay. I want... two oh, little I... points there. You're if you're gonna don't. I... Don't praise the news site too much because it's all in Japanese. So you're like, that's fine. It's like, I could kind of work my way through it. But even for the Japanese fans, if you want to go to the news and like, oh, I watch New Blood, let me, because like, they don't do, it's obviously a live pay per view, they don't do subtitles. It's like, oh, let me go to the news site and see what they said. Um, yeah, we won't do spoilers. So, someone won a match and. Actually, there was the there was the there was the new blood tag team belt. So, so there was a new champion. So the champions won. They take the mic and they talk for about I don't know five minutes, and then you go on the news site and you read what they say, and it's like we won the belts. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, that's all you're gonna put. So they're lazy too. And um, my favorite. Uh, gimmick of ours uh, keeping a match of the month tally and so far March has been a great month where Hazuki versus Kamatani is a contender uh, <laughs> and it took all the way to a, a new blood show to have what we think is probably maybe better than that match maybe one of the best matches of the year and it do- and it didn't and it didn't have Mayu Iwatani in it yeah <laughs> <laughs> That, that that's an accomplishment of itself. Doesn't have Mayu and it's a match of the year. Not only is Mayu Iwatani not one of the wrestlers and what could be a match of the year candidate, one of the wrestlers is finger bang Miyu Amasaki. That is astonishing. <laughs> you know how good of a wrestler you have to be to have Miyu in the match of the year contender sure he's so freaking good dude we were watching um i don't know what what it was maybe the 11th or the 12th uh the house show and we were gonna just gonna skip entrances i'm like no you need to watch this it was like the first match had miu and uh it was miu the miu versus mirai match right and so i go no just watch this i want your take and like as soon as she comes out i start laughing and you're like oh that's always her i mean she comes out she looks terrified, like coming to the ring. And you're like, oh, that's just her like thousand, what do you call it? The thousand mile stare. She just like <laughs> thousand yard stare. That, yard that, stare. that, that the veterans get when they're go- having like PTSD flashbacks. Yeah, she's like, this is really going to hurt. And I don't want to do it. Why did I sign up for this? <laughs> <laughs> well, she, well like, we were joking about that when she faced Mariah on a couple yeah. of shows ago. Like, she just has that look. So. <laughs> I what we might have figured out, and I, I'll hand over the mic to you. But I think what we figured out is if she's gonna be really good at something, is that she's one hell of a punching bag. Oh my god, she died. <laughs> she was sacrificed <laughs> to the wrestling god. Every uh, t- time, Shuri's uh, god's eye, God's Shuri's god's <laughs> fist are going through Miu's face, dude. Like every time Amasaki threw a uh, slap at Shuri, I was like, "Oh no, the retaliation is not going to be okay." <laughs> Dude, that it was like so brutal because uh, I don't. It's it's like what I've wanted out of Shuri for so long. 
Yeah, there was a moment where they're just going back and forth trading slaps, and Mew is crying while she's slapped. She's crying when she slaps Shuri because she knows that she's going to get slapped back. <laughs> like, this and is then, really going to hurt. You know when um, they're usually doing the thing where they strike back and forth, they keep going at it until someone gives up? <laughs> They're going, they do like three slaps, and then Shuri's like, All right, well, because when Mew slaps her, Shuri's like, Come on, harder, like this, and then slaps the taste out of her Mew's mouth. And then Mew uh. goes to slap her again, and she's like, No, I like, but for real though, like, hit me hard. And she's like, I'm hitting you as hard as I can. So then Shuri just grabs her around the mm. neck and just starts kneeing her in the gut like eight times. <laughs> like, All right, I had enough of you, kid. Shuri's strikes are just, uh, Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, it, but that's not enough. Like her submission moves, like she's literally the total package. She ends up. Doesn't she end up? <laughs> Shuri. So Shuri does the buzz song running kick, and like the refs doing the thing, like run into Amasaki, who's unconscious pretty much at this point, and Shuri's like, "All right, well, it was a good match." That I, was there a pinfall that Amasaki accidentally kicked out of, and she probably shouldn't have for her own sake, because eventually All Shuri just puts her in a rear naked and like chokes the fuck out of her. <laughs> All of them, every single pinfall attempt, she should have just like. I was at one point I was saying like, man, she's got some awful friend. Like, then no one threw in the towel. Dude, it's gotta be. Yeah, I know. I mean, there was gotta. Like... Be... <laughs> There was a moment where, because Shuri has one of her knees taped up, that was her only shot. You just kept going after the knee and putting her in like knee bars. And Shuri crawls to the rope, and the ref's like, "All right, let go." It's like, "No, oh really? <laughs> no, let go? No, fuck you! I'm not letting go." And she's like, "No, I'm gonna disqualify you. Fucking, you don't understand what happens when I let go of this hold." <laughs> the uh, match is. I oh, it was there was bits of uh, Amasaki offense, and it didn't even look bad like she had uh, work in the body part made sense like she's just obviously going to be outclassed by uh shuri so trying to take a care of a weakness which you know shuri has her knee taped up so it's like a a target right they say so yeah. she targeted it she got a little bit of uh action on there i think she even hit um her like x-factor looking finisher thing and uh That's really cool yeah That's so i agree yeah, so she almost she almost landed with a two count, but no, it was uh that probably just made Shuri even matter. Sure, uh, <laughs> Miyu's unconscious. Everyone's checking on her. The doctor's checking on her, and then <laughs> at what oh, point you she... skipped? You didn't skip how she became unconscious. Well, I said you choked choked her out. <laughs> okay, well you didn't say it in enough detail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because she gives her. Shuri gives Miu a buzzsaw kick that put her out, and then I assume Miu just did that thing where she's unconscious and your body just keeps moving. Because she kicked out. I thought when she got hit with the buzzsaw kick, it was going to be like the Saki match where the ref just throws in the towel. But she kicked out, and then Shuri puts her in a chokehold, and I don't know if she's still alive. <laughs> Dude, her stuff looks so brutal. She, I think where... her soul left. Her, I think Miu's soul left her body for a minute because she chokes her out, and the ref does the thing where you know, they lift the arm up and they drop it to see if you're still conscious. He did it twice, like he was going to go for the three. Yo, the second she put her in that, we were like, "Dude, she's out!" Like, sure, shit looks so brutal. Like, so he's going to go through like the three arms. He like rings the bell after number two. He's like, "Oh, if, if uh, we don't." We need oxygen in this brain now. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Shuri wins, and she doesn't just get up and celebrate. She goes over and, like, well, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically the bell rings, like, the ref's like, please let her go. Let her go, please. And she goes, okay. And then she looks down at her, and she's like, oh, oh, no. And she picks her, she picks me up in her arms like a little baby and is like, please be alive. Please be alive. I don't want to go to prison. This is working out really good, where it's like, all right, so. We have learned that Shuri's a goofball. We've learned yeah. that there's a point in the... She likes to start the match wrestling. We know there's a point in a match where she, she switches. A switch is turned into the kill position. And 
she continues to fight till that happens. Then the bell rings and she like snaps out of it, looks at what she's done, and then like is like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She helps me you up and then graciously hands her over. I think there was a point where you you were like, and I was I almost felt it was happening. It was like, is this recruitment? Is she gonna be a member yeah. of God's Eye? And she basically she just, just like her throws her, her at Queen's Quest. She's like, yeah. and she's like, Tommy, take her. <laughs> and, you, you, and then you Tommy picked up Mew's like corpse and you looked at Sherry and I was like, huh, kind of missed that. <laughs> yeah. There's no chance of them hitting in the tournament, huh? Finals. Yeah, they'd have to. They're on opposite sides. I. That works for me. No, they're not on opposite sides. They would be in the semifinals if they made it. Semifinals, whatever. It works for me. Even if they want to do a draw, there, we can do it. We can do a draw, and then whoever <laughs> wins the the other block just automatically wins. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> as long as we can see Shuri versus Utami 18. <laughs> give me give me those forever foes. F those uh, right? other two weirdos. Right? He's definitely the... shot up the power rankings by being sacrificed. Yeah, I love the fact that... Uh, why were they even fighting? Do you... I didn't catch any press conferences. Was there a reason for a singles match that happened between them two? Or is it just Cause... the New Blood thing where Miyu Amasaki... I forgot it was a New Blood because it was a pay-per-view. Is it one of those things where Miyu just keeps getting fed to people that are going to whoop her ass? Because stardom loves fucking two people. Saki Kashima and Miyu Amasaki. <laughs> <laughs> Miyu has had to face Tam Nakano. I think. Hairi. Shuri. Tommy, Julia. And then Ami's over here like, yay, I get to face Bubble Girl. <laughs> well, Fucking poor me. You wonder why you never see her every, but three months? Because she's in the hospital. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, speaking of people that love beating up on new girls, the uh, last thing I think to touch on for uh, New Blood Premium is <laughs> the Julia opened the show. With a rookie's debut, is it I Sakura? Another Sakura? Something? I don't even know her name. But Julia also loves beating up on new people. <laughs> she whooped <laughs> this kid's ass. She does. She, she loves. She loves it. Loves every time it. She, every time she gets a shot at, and then like, you double it, like when she faces when Julia faces Raka, because a she's she's not new, but she's like a young girl. So Julia loves putting the beating on them. Plus, she's like a bigger girl, so Julia's like, oh, I get to lay my stuff in, huh? <laughs> Baraka's crying at the end of a match. <laughs> oh, my God. When, uh, oh, my God. It was either last summer or two summers ago when it was Julia versus Ruaka. When I was done watching that match, I actually Googled his uh, Ruaka injury. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> dropped Ruaka so hard on her head. I thought it was over. I thought <laughs> that was the last her, match she was never going to wrestle. <laughs> her at the, yeah, best case scenario, she her wrestling career is over. Oh, best case scenario. Like I, that was the only time I think. That I, I mean, these injuries happen all the time. That one scared me. <laughs> um. I guess, you know what, one more thing that maybe came out of a New Blood, and then I'd like to challenge, I don't even know if it's going to play or if it works, but I thought it'd be fun to challenge you to a game of stardom 20 questions. Um, but there was a, a shake, maybe not a, sh maybe a shake up at the end of um, the Lady C teamed up with the new big girl that's taller than her Hanako. And I would have thought Lady C would have been upset, but you came across... Um, some words by Lady C where she's embracing the the new tallest woman in Japanese professional wrestling? Oh, we're embracing the new tallest female <laughs> professional wrestler. It's a group. She might have to go uh, join the tier for a minute if they can catch a win together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I won't spoil if you haven't caught New Blood yet who won the new New Blood Tag Team Championships, but we got a new number one contender and they're very large and very awesome. <laughs> yeah, what is her name? Lady C. 
And Hanako? And Hanako, yeah. Yeah. I just caught the press conference afterwards. Like they weren't even a team coming into it. She just they just wrestled on this pay per view and she's like, Hey, you're big, I'm big. Like let's, let's fucking start bullying some little girls. Hanako she's gotta be young too, right? Because she's gonna end up being terrifying. Because not only is she a, a tall, but she's got a, a little weight to her too. Like she it can Yeah, with like a lady... little bit of work, she could be huge. That's like, my problem with Lady C. It was like, <laughs> you just lift a weight every once in a while. <laughs> Dude, Just that's running. why I can't buy the fact, other than the fact that it was uh, Sakurai it happened to. When uh, Lady C kicked Sakurai a few weeks ago off the top rope, I'm like, Lady C strikes. <laughs> it's like when Lady C kicks someone, she usually falls backwards. <laughs> oh, she shoved her. She kicked her so hard. Yeah, it's, it, dep- it depends how you see it. <laughs> But anyways, back to the, C, the matter at hand. Lady C's a Star Trek fan, that's why. Uh, uh, I, yeah. I, I wish I, I wish they would go back to not liking each other. That was a great tag team. I Sakurai and Lady C had to force to tag together. Yeah, Hanako? Yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. Lady C said after, yeah, after, and their new blood post-match um, comments that uh, I wasn't really. I didn't like that you were coming in and stealing my title as the biggest female wrestler in Japan. But it was really cool when you dropped Himika on her head, and then <laughs> you gave Micah a brain buster. Like I fell in love. <laughs> Basically, it's like we can be a really cool tag team. So yeah, if you want to be the muscle, <laughs> I can make our outfits, and this could really work out. <laughs> Do you do you prefer one leg or uh, like one long pant one in, or in one short or uh, how do how do you want it? Let's let's talk uh, straps. But no, the only strap that's going to matter how... is when they take these new blood straps away from the yeah. winners. She's just showing her pictures of JoJo, and she's like, "Oh, I just thought I wear like wrestling tights." <laughs> she's like, "All right, so scrap the feathers and the jewels." <laughs> I know, now, you know how funny? high do you want your thong to ride? It is funny that? too to think to think of that. Is that as far as like because sometimes the new girls come out and they're overly gimmicked and not really. Uh, the girl that Julia fought like had a nice outfit, and then uh, this girl um, Hanako had a normal looking outfit too. No feathers or hearts or any of that shit all over the place. Yeah, looking yeah. at a picture of her, like yeah, to be what three or four centimeters taller than Lady C and probably a. 50 pounds heavier but like weight that like looks appropriate for her size it's gonna be a monster like picture Himika but two feet taller (laughs) yeah that's all I I think I have as far as before I I challenge you to a game If, if you're uh if you're into it I would challenge you to a game of stardom 20 questions the, the person I am thinking of, you have 20 questions to figure it out. Yes or no questions. I will do my best to answer them. If it's something I, I don't know or can't look up real fast to keep it moving, we will pass. It can be anyone that has been associated with stardom. It doesn't have to be a current wrestler. Just anybody who is associated with um, stardom. Are you up for right. the task? Yeah. All right. And then uh, there's other uh, ground rules I can think of as we go. <laughs> and then uh, we'll close it up from there. But All go right. ahead with question. I got I to gotta keep a tally. I'm going to count on my fingers. Hold on. I got to pour myself. Since this is winding down, I can pour myself my, my first nightcap of the night here. Dude. All right. So uh, go for it. Question number one. Trying to figure out. Now, see, it's. I think it's up to you how we could. We could if, if this is fun. We could do it back and forth, um, but one twenty questions is always a fun game. And uh, we, when I was kicking around the idea, we were like, well, burning questions on, like saying, are they part of a faction? Um, if you want to try that, that's fine. You can't say the person's name because once you guess it, the game is over, whether you're right or wrong. That's a ground uh, rule. So, because uh, I was just gonna, oh, oh, okay, I'm just gonna guess. Well, the fact that it can take place at any point in stardom history, you know, might make it a little harder, too. 
but I already there's got a my chance guess. you get it in, there's a there's a chance you get it in six in six questions too. So how about one question? <laughs> how about one question? I already got my guess. Is it Lady uh, C? No. I think you switched it. I think it was Lady C. All right. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Do I love, love, love them? Uh, do you love, love, love them? Uh, yeah, you, do I. You like them, probably. You don't hate them. Okay. Can I? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to pull. I don't know who I'm guessing. Oh, but it could be anyone. So I can't just pull up the roster page. But I'm going to do it anyway because it might give me some ideas. Um, it's like Scrabble with the dictionary. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Played checking to see if I spelled it right. Because I can burn six questions just guessing a faction. Oh, Good. That narrows it down. Or do I? <laughs> now, not yeah. Unless not you natu- think, unless you think that's not fair. Unless you want to stay away from faction rules. However, I mean, there's factions that aren't even a thing anymore. So, I mean, it's it it could. Who knows? Maybe the first week's easier. Maybe I. I pull a tough one out next week. Aren't they currently blonde? Oh, I might have to look at the... Are all the pages that up to date? (laughs) Oh, no, just... I'm just using it because I'm like, I don't want to forget somebody. They they still have Unagi out as a cosmic angel, so I don't know how up to date that is. Are they currently blonde? I guess the answers would be yes, no, or I'm not sure. And I think the answer is no. That's You're not two. sure if they're blonde. No, uh, probably not blonde, and definitely not naturally blonde. Most likely not naturally blonde. Oh, it's not naturally, of course. <laughs> um, are they heels? Or are is that are they a heel? Probably supposed to be. Do they like wrenches? No. Are they masters of kishikashiing? No. Probably supposed to be. Well, it's not stars. That's five. I assume. The angels would not be in there. <laughs> are these the start of fan rules or what they're supposed to be? Because <laughs> yeah, the angels yeah. are the biggest seal group. <laughs> Speaking of which, all right, so we noticed this the other day. Now that I'm going to break your train of thought. Since I put the page open too, uh, just, uh, I don't know, have fun. The Cosmic A, I noticed this earlier too, when I was commenting on Waka's new gear is already uploaded. Um, Ryan May is not a cosmic angel. Uh, Mina no. Shirakawa is. Yep. So, well, so what's Club Venus? Just her little side project? They're here, baby. Yeah, they're they're here. <laughs> All right. Where does sexy dynamite princess fit in? She's she's their newest <laughs> member. She, yeah, she's the third member. She must be brand new. She didn't even have her own wrestling gear. She just borrowed Mariah May's. Oh, that's funny. That was not the was that not hilarious though. Like, it, there's a mass wrestler called a sexy dynamite princess, and everyone's like, "Who could it be?" And her gear all says Mariah May. <laughs> <laughs> um, so probably supposed to be a heel. Okay, do they speak English? I don't think so. And not that we would have known. Okay, you said I might. I will not mind them. So. Ooh. Oh, I'm still thinking of the current. You didn't, you didn't throw in like a. This isn't a. Not a softball, but you didn't like make this super difficult for our first ever run of this, did you? Um, could be I'm anybody. Oh, I already forgot my questions. <laughs> Have they ever been a champion? Yes. Tag team? Goddess? Uh, no to the tag team. I count artists? For now, it's two questions. I just assume tag team. The uh, also no to the trios. That's nine. High speed. <laughs> there hasn't been that many champions. I feel like that's easier than. I kind of assumed I shouldn't guess a faction. No, that's ten. So they're pro. That's tough. I'm out, of, I'm out of ideas. Are they pretty cool? No. Eleven. <laughs> Guma Guma. Uh, no bears. Twelve. Um. Are they cool, royal, and or beautiful? That's one uh, question. No. 13. <laughs> is it Torah? <laughs> you just... You're, it is not Natsuka Torah. <laughs> uh, Ruaka? <laughs> At number 15, with a little bit of cheating, you got to Ruaka. 
Oh, nice. I, that's all right. You were you were on the doorstep. I thought you were going to get it at six. What was six? Uh, I don't know. It was a bad guy, and then you just started running through Oedo ties. It was a bad guy that wasn't blonde. I figured <laughs> you were going to have it. <laughs> well, I psyched myself out because I thought of Saki, and she changes her hair color like the rainbow. <laughs> that was a fun little game. Well done. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you'll learn, learn a little something. The answers were, I believe she has pink hair right now. She was a champion. She was a one-time Futures oh, champion. Oh, yeah. Um, and I did find out a piece of fun information about her is that she technically holds an award because she was part of the best faction when Oedo Tai was considered best faction of 2021. Cool. So it's like uh, the the backup backup quarterback winning a Super Bowl. You still get the ring, right? Oh, yeah. Um, other questions I was ready for um, would be, I thought it'd be fun uh, if if I was playing like is she over or is she still a teenager? So I didn't even realize. I I, I still think of her as young from when we started. Well, I had still yeah, young, but like eighteen. You know, you know, know from uh, being a a dungeon master and from D and D, what you think is an obvious question. It's like, oh no, I thought this would be easier. Now I'm on the spot. Like the pressure goes. <laughs> the first couple of questions, you're just throwing stuff out there, and then you're like, okay, I got to think carefully. We're not a questions here. Another thing I learned, <laughs> it's funny. Another thing I learned about Ruaka is like, uh, when she was young, she was also small and almost skinny. Huh. Yeah. Really small. <laughs> uh, and with that, I'd like to thank you for hanging out. Um, if the live stream is still happening, uh, in the <laughs> uh, Start of Fad podcast live stream. Otherwise, Thank you for listening to us uh, on the rebroadcast and on the on the podcast. I'm Mark in for Juno. Any plug, sir? And uh, anyone that's in the live stream, um, if it's still going, if you want to stick around, we'll maybe we'll play a game or something um, after this. But is there anything you'd like to plug on the way out? Um, well, there is a PayPal. There is a Kofi. There's a Discord. Of course, there's yeah. the YouTube, and all of those links are at stardomfan.com. Yeah, nice and easy. Just a one-stop shop. Stardomfan.com, right at the top of the page, is all the links you could ever want. Uh, support us, if you like. And, you know, there's monetary things on there. And if that's not your thing, the the likes, the shares, or wherever you could share it. You know, it's all the, the key to internet success is analytics and algorithms. So let's keep boosting it. Because because good things yeah. are happening, it's fun. Um, did you want to touch on? There's probably not a place to read it yet. I'm gonna say, uh, you wrote an article today. I know we're gonna get into blogging and writing articles because if people aren't just getting enough of our content and the things we have to say, <laughs> we might as well read us too. If you're really lucky, we'll <laughs> yeah. start spamming your emails too while we're at it. Wait for that one. <laughs> yeah, I just. Started writing. I don't even know. I don't even know what prompted it. I just started writing something, and then I'm like, it slowly turned into like a paragraph, and then two paragraphs, and I just it was like, basically turned into like a little article on the Discord. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, you. It's right in the Discord. Perfect. Well, that's yeah. Fun. Um, in the live stream, if it's still rocking and rolling, we'd like to thank the people that showed up because that's always fun. Uh, Archon Blade, Enigma V4, Hendrix, Kevin Cabeza, R. Angelo, Riley Tucker. Guys, you guys uh, help make Stardom fans special. The chats are fun, the Discord's fun. And uh, that's all I got. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, boy. Bye bye. Bye, boy. Bye.